Twitter has a big problem with fake accounts. We'll talk about it and how it affects us. Hello everyone, welcome back to another cybersecurity talk. In a 16th month study of 1.5 billion tweets, Zubaria Shafiq, a computer science professor at the University of Iowa, and his graduate student, Faruqi, identified more than 167,000 apps using Twitter's API to automate bot accounts that spread tens of millions of tweets pushing spam, links to malware, and astroturfing campaigns. According to them, more than 60% of the time, Twitter waited for those apps to send more than 100 tweets each before identifying them as abusive. Whereas, the researchers were able to flag the vast majority of the malicious apps after just a few tweets. So, it looks like Twitter should switch to their method, right? For about 40% of the apps, Twitter seemed to take more than a month longer than the study's method to spot an app's abusive tweeting. That lag time, the researchers estimate, allows abusive apps to cumulatively churn, churn out tens of millions of tweets per month before they're banned. Twitter has, to its credit, at least taken an aggressive approach to stopping some of the most organized disinformation trolls exploiting its network. In a report released last week, the social media firm said it had banned more than 4,000 politically motivated disinformation accounts originating in Russia, another 3,300 from Iran, and more than 750 from Venezuela the usual suspects. In a statement to Wired magazine, which we give credit to for breaking this story, Twitter noted that it's also working to curb abusive apps, implementing new restrictions on how they are given access to Twitter's API. The company says it banned 162,000 abusive applications in the last six months of 2018 alone. 162,000 abusive apps? Oh, wow! People are really busy being naughty and developing malicious, malicious apps, aren't they? Really, all these fake and spam accounts affect us, even if they do not seem so. I know there are apps that supposedly can clean your accounts, but they don't always work well. So, let me give you a few tips. These are some of the things you can observe to determine if a Twitter account is false or not. Number one. They are an egghead. I mean, literally. By egghead, I'm referring to the Twitter user in question not taking the time to upload a profile image or use a stock profile. Most real people will upload some sort of profile image, right? So, while not every egghead is a fake or a bot account, this is typically a sign of a bot. Or maybe you're a really lazy person. You decide. Number two. No bio. An empty Twitter bio is almost a dead giveaway that the profile you're looking at is a dot. This underutilized real estate is key to informing your followers or potential followers who you are and what you're about. Skipping over this is typically a sign of not only laziness, but a telltale sign the account is almost certainly fake. Number three. Excessive duplicate tweets. While this does not run rampant like it previously did, if you see a profile stream that is all the exact same or very similar tweets, chances are that you're viewing a fake account. So, in these fake accounts, we find a lot of false data. So, what is false data exactly? Well, according to a report by the global consultancy Accenture, false data are unverified maliciously manipulated or simply erroneous data. Around the world, 97% of business decisions are made using data. 97%, almost all decisions. But the problem is, what happens when these decisions are made with incorrect data and what it could mean for people and consumers? Do you remember what happened during certain elections when there were a lot of fake things being tweeted out? So we have to protect ourselves if nobody else does. Think of that, and meanwhile, 
Be safe on and offline. We'll see you soon.